Hi everybody, Andrea Majewski here with Dental Health Tutoring. I have new paint on the walls, I'm so excited. Now I just have to find an exciting piece of artwork to actually put on the walls. So I am just really excited about that. So sorry that it took me a while to check the messages to do kind of everything because the office took a while to be painted and I was told it was just gonna take, you know, a day. So I just left my computer in the office thinking I would just be able to access it afterwards. But what the painter did was he literally took everything and just bunched it in the middle. So it was kind of like, oh, I, you know, um, if I had known you were going to do that, I would have taken my computer out because computers are kind of expensive. They're kind of important. I don't really need it bunched in the middle. It was literally like that stuff was on top of each other. So I'm so happy that he didn't actually break anything. So sorry that it took me a little while, but I'm back. I'm super excited to be back in my office because it was actually harder than it might seem to work from my living room. But anyways, let's talk about trying to study, okay? So I've been getting a lot of questions lately for a lot of you who are taking the board exam again, so either for the second time or the third time, even if you're just starting to study for the board exam for the first time, you don't know where to start, okay? I know it seems like a lot, but even if you've taken the board exam before, you don't know what you might think you, you know, so I do suggest to study everything again, okay? But if you still don't know where to start, then I suggest um, studying from the topics that you found a lot harder because those will take you longer to study. So let's say you had a hard time with uh, pharmacology. That's everybody's hardest topic, I would have to say. Study pharmacology first. So go inside the membership login area. Um, under uh, the pharmacology notes, there's like a label that says um, pharmacology click on that and then study all of those notes, okay? There's a lot there because you do have to know a lot for pharmacology, but it's still a lot easier to study all of those notes opposed to opening up your big textbook and then studying those notes. Because in the notes that I have inside the membership login area, that's what you have to know. Yes, it does seem like a lot. Not everything will be on the board exam. It would be nice if I could tell you exactly what would be on it, but I don't even know that. So in my notes, they are made from previous exams. So what other students have told me, and even from when I took the exam a long time ago, you know, so all of that's there for a reason. So it's so much easier to study those notes instead of just, oops, sorry guys, that was just my alarm. <laughs> Um, instead of just opening up your textbook and then trying to figure out what to highlight and what to study. But please keep in mind also that inside the membership login area, each module takes time. It, it will not take you a day or two days or even a week. Depends on how much you know now. So if you take the hardest topic first, say pharmacology, don't expect to get through all of it in a day. And don't be mad at yourself if it takes you a week to get through everything because we all learn in a different way. We all have different lives. So if you work full time, for example, you might only be able to, to study two hours a day. That's okay. But that just means that it will take you a little bit longer to get through everything. If you're not working now, then you should be able to study six hours every single day. But I, I, I also do not say to study too much of one topic at one time. So earlier, how I said to study um, pharmacology first, um, if you're able to study six hours a day, then try to break it up. So study pharmacology, let's say for three hours, and then study another hard topic for you, say it's oral pathology for three hours after that. Because if you study a full six hours of one topic, your brain gets tired. You know, you, you, you pretty much get tired. You know, like I don't know how else to say it, but you will get tired. So you trying to study something for six hours, at the end of that, you might have only retained three hours of the information and then all of those three hours of studying after that is useless. So you don't want that. So I do suggest to mix up the topics too, if that helps you. But then, you know, you have to know 
what's easier for you to study, right? But that can be hard to know right away. So these are just kind of some, some um, tips for you. So study the harder topics first and then go through to the easier ones. Now, I do, I do also say that after you study a topic, say it takes you a week to study pharmacology, take the mock exam after that on that same topic. So then you know, like, oh, okay, I did well on that mock exam. So that means that I can move on to another topic. Or if you took that mock exam and you did not do a good job, then that tells you that you have to go back and then study certain areas of that topic. So, so you see how you study do mock exams, you know, study, do mock exams, so try to mix it up. Um, but also keep in mind too that there will be some days where you just have other things to do, where you might be sick or you might be tired or whatever. Life happens, that is okay. But always study something, so at least two hours every single day. So if you wake up tomorrow and you're sick, you know, you don't feel like, you know, um, reading and reading and reading then watch a, um, a video instead. So I pretty much have a video on every single topic. So let's say you wake up tomorrow, you know, knock on wood, and you're sick, you know, then watch um, the video on the topic that you want to study. So you're watching, you're listening, but that's a lot easier in some cases than having to read through things, right? Because that that's just harder to do. It takes more time. Even if you're doing laundry, you know, cooking, cleaning, whatever, always be listening to something, okay? Even if you're not really paying attention, you can, you can still hear things. Um, and I do say too that if you ever have to be in the car for an hour or, you know, half an hour even, listen to something too while you're in the car. So you're always listening to something. You're always thinking oral pathology, new, new, nutrition, perio, just anything. So always be listening to something. It does seem like a lot. You won't have much of a life for a little bit, but that's how you do pass. And the holidays are coming. Nobody wants to study during the holidays. You might think you have more time, you do, but it's the holidays. Who wants to study for six hours every single day around Christmas? Nobody. You will want to take a break, and that's okay. If you feel you don't have time or you don't want to take a break, then study for, you know, three hours every single day. But over the holidays, you guys, take a break. Um, study three hours max um, a day over, you know, Christmas. So take a week off, you know. If you feel like you have to study something, study for three hours and that's it. So I hope that helps. Um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. But just try to do a little bit every single day. And then a couple weeks from now, you will say, okay, now it's starting to sink in. Things will not start to sink in right away. It doesn't happen. Even if you think you have studied everything, you have, but maybe not in that same way. So you might have studied too much before. You might have studied not enough before. So you still have to go through everything because it, if you only look at certain topics now, then the other stuff come a month from now, you will think you would remember it, but you don't. And then you have other problems because here you were not able to study everything. And then it's Christmas and that's the last thing that you want to do. So those are just some little tips um, that will help you guys pass that exam, okay? So good luck and have a good weekend. And even if it's easier for you, come up with a plan on what you want to study each and every single day. That will help too, if you're more of an organized you know, person. So good luck. Let me know if you need anything and I will see you guys very, very soon.